Friday night, everybody come to get lit. Red cups, what you sip? My man roller, he bring a zip. Right. Any Moscato and Duce, whatever you want to get. Nothing but them good vibes when we come through. It's a fun event. All the ladies call your girls. All my niggas call your guys. Fall in line. They ain't got no plans. You can tell them to slide. I'm Feast the Beast. They told you otherwise. Them suckers lie. Can't nobody do it like me. I'm seasoned like checker fries. What's the vibe? You know what I'm it is when we come inside. Baby. This weather feeling good looking nice like the summertime. Just get together. We call it the party of the year. You end up missing this, you gon' be sorry you ain't here. Light skin, long hair, better than Cardi from the red. You got me some good game, yeah, I talk it up in here. This the one they say they like it, play it back, it got a hype, but I'm excited, never tired. Just keep it going with fire. Keep it going. I just wanna catch a vibe. I just wanna catch a vibe. I just wanna catch a vibe. Hey, I just wanna catch a vibe. Get high, have a good time. I just wanna catch a vibe. Hey. Yeah, what's up? We back with another one. Unprivileged drinkers taste testers for the hood, but suburban safe. Yes, sir. So as you can see, you got the gang here. One missing. You know, he usually, you know, he just he, he does what he wants to do. You know I mean, somebody was telling me he running out of PTO time, so I don't know. We'll figure it out later. We're gonna I think find his, his period ass. is on again. He's definitely the Alan Iverson of the crew. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Practice. No, not really. Yeah, this is game time. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so he, he, he's Matt Geiger. Oh. Huh. huh. Maybe Todd McCullough. Todd, oh, he, I think that's worse. Anybody that played for the Sixers in 01 or Yeah, 02, I'm trying to give him worse. Except for Iverson. That Tyrone right. Hill looking ass motherfucker. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so we got the gang here, as you can see. Um, Missing uh, our man Slime, but it's all good. We're feeling for him. We got his back. Um, obviously, my man 2-3-G-C in Florida. That's my guy. Shout out. Love you, bro. Um, but, you know, we got Champagne Abe, the producer, behind the scenes. He getting the, you know, make sure everything working. But as you see, got the regular guy. They call me No Graham Reese, Uncle Reese, whatever. I'm the regular dude, so it don't matter to me. But, you know what I mean? To my right, I got a little bro. What's up, gang? What's up, squad? It's Dank, a.k.a. Pooty. Sip it out my clammy D's. Um, you heard him. I ain't got nothing much to say after that, so I'm gonna pass it to my man behind me. Hope he's far behind you. The- <laughs> <sighs> it starts. It's the dirtiest motherfucker you know. <laughs> it's your boy Dirty back with another one of my guys to my left. Uh, this is the captain. Um, we're gonna be flying at a a cruising. Altitude, um, Minnesota this uh, this evening. Uh, we might be a man short, man. You know, our star quarterback might not be playing this week, but uh, that's what we're going going to Minnesota this week. <laughs> so you don't, have, you don't have any predictions like you had last week? You gonna go in there and whip some ass? What? Did Are you say, say, listen, did you say right. that? You, you, said, you, said, you, said, you, said, you said that last week. You don't sound as confident. Cooper yeah. Rush <laughs> will bring us the victory. <laughs> Our defense is going to win that goddamn game. So Cooper Rush won't bring you the victory if it's the defense winning it. No, well he just got to maintain the ship. You know what I mean? He's got to throw about. He so got. He got to give us two twenty so a TD. Be, he got to be. He got to go uh, nineteen for twenty five. So a little, a little short game. Got to so he has to be a good captain. Yeah, like I am. <laughs> he caught that. Yeah, he, 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 he did catch he it. He did it. catch it. Yo, so if you're first time tuning in, you know what I'm saying we're unprivileged drinkers, taste testers for the hood. Yeah, I mean, we come to y'all with just different stuff that you probably never had before, giving you something to try. You know what I mean? Step out your comfort zone. As you can see right in front of you, we got some swole. It is an Añejo tequila. Um, you can only find it at CW Spirits. Um, dot com. Yeah, dot com. You know what I mean? If you want to get a percentage off of that, you can obviously use our code UMP5. Holla at us, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, this is what we're drinking today. It is comparable to. What, 1942? You know what I'm saying? I think that's what they kind of yeah. compare it to as far as that. Oh, shit. Not well, that, that's I mean, like it, as far as like what they put it up against because they're both. Oh, no, shit. It's light years ahead of that. But this but, is. Yeah. yeah, but this is. uh, This is it's, it's obviously a lot cheaper. I think you can get a bottle yeah. of 1942 for like 150, 160, depending on where you go. Um, This, what, 70? 70 bucks? So that's what we bought. And it doesn't shit. taste like a. Definitely Natural more bang for your buck. Yeah, and that's what we like to do, man. You can always find you a quick deal um, on CW Spirits. They got great deals. They got Dude. a bunch of variety of different things you probably never even seen or heard of before. They, so they got, go check them out. Um, but see, you, they got seasonal gift packs too, like uh, Chris, Christmas gift packs. You know, for your winter drinks, your fall drinks. Well, we're in fall season now, so um, you can find all types of gift sets there for you know your loved ones. You know, throughout the holiday. Christmas, Thanksgiving, whoa. 
Well, anyway, yeah, yeah. That. I think but that's yeah. what I suppose just like shut yeah, the fuck yeah, up. So if, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Yeah, if you want to buy them something like that, just make sure you use code UMP five. Right, shout us out. We appreciate the discount. It. Um, so yeah, we about to go uh, take our shots. That's what we do before we do anything else. Shut I'm privileged drinkers, baby. So if it's your baby. first time here, you don't know no better. Pooty seems excited about this. Let's man. get it up. I am. Shot you a must clock. Need a drink. Shot a clock. Shot a clock. Let's go. Drink up. Right, I'll take it. Woo! <sighs> Warms the soul. That's swole, baby. I'm privileged drinkers, baby. What's crazy ah, is there's um, nothing like the swole. Swole warms the soul. Swole warms the soul and the hole. Oh my god! <laughs> god damn. Um, so if y'all don't know, um, we're um actually really active on TikTok. So we um have specific days that we post videos and i bring this up to say because yesterday i just did mines i usually uh post on thursdays thursdays i did what two and a half shots of this shit uh yeah it was yesterday it was yesterday i'm trying to think about what are you sure uh, you you seem uncertain today is like <laughs> today has been kind of long man this rain is just drawing like it's just crazy outside you know what i'm saying but no i'm just saying like it's really good like and the, the good thing about it it goes down smooth um, you don't feel the effects of it like that. Like I said, it's a really great tequila. It don't give you a typical tequila taste. You know what if I mean? If you it's was blindfolded, you, you would not know that was tequila. Yeah, absolutely. You that's would. That's a fact. Absolutely yeah, I agree. You would I agree know that's tequila. That. But yeah, I just wanted to like um, kind of make mention of that because it goes down so smooth. But um, next thing we want to do is kind of talk about how our week go. We, you know, we usually uh, we recap our weeks. We talk about you know anything that we may have come across, whether it be it don't have to always be liquor related or a beer or anything like that. But you know we like to talk about that because there's certain things that come up that I may have missed and and somebody else may have picked up on. So um, just opening the table up so anybody saw anything, picked up on anything that they you know what I mean want to talk about. No matter what it is, but. I mean, anything? Well, on Monday, I went to go see Dune in theaters. Mm. It was a good draw. I dozed off like <laughs> like the first 40 minutes, but it's two and a half hours, so I had more than enough time to catch up or whatever. <laughs> it's long ass movie. You were by yourself? Yeah. yeah. Sounds some o'clock, lonely man. ass shit you did, man. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Why <laughs> gotta be lonely? Loaded the most lonely. I, 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 I almost oh, guarantee so it was lonely. probably the most peaceful movie he watched, though, in theaters. It's one of going on with people sometimes. Listen, that motherfucker like you like to ask questions. So no, I don't I, I've been, I've been, I, 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 I fell asleep with you. Oh, also moving Sunday, along. Sunday, I uh, watched football by myself. Guys were yeah, lonely motherfucker. Lonely yeah, 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 I wouldn't have mentioned that. You just, <laughs> no, because my guys were in Vegas uh, watching the, the guy, people I usually watch a game with were in Vegas, except for Avery. He just wasn't around here and fuck with me for real, for real. But he's in the Poconos. He, no, he was back. <laughs> well, nigga. This I had uh, the Roscoe Hazy IPA from the Attic Brewery. The not it's like nine point eight percent or something like that. I had two of them. I do not recommend you do that. That shit hit me. <laughs> oh, where are you? Oh, man. Yo, you fucking stink. <laughs> oh, my Did God. I do that? <laughs> this is... This motherfucker is sick. How we just starting? You couldn't... Anyway. You just went to the bathroom. Like, right. What the fuck? So, oh, my Listen, God. It was a number one, not a number two. Right. Uh, so and that's what you call being authentic. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> sick. I don't even know what I said. I am. Um, you, uh, with the <laughs> Roscoe's Hazy IPA, how many did you have? You said two? Yeah. And then how many shots? Four. Mm. He was pickled. Oh, shit. He was in a blender. Are you depressed? Sounds like a no, no, no. I, I wasn't by go, myself I the whole time. God damn. I'm going to say, but I'm you say that was shit, so I can't get through my whole, like, my weekly recap. That was a good time. Yeah, I'm quite sure that, that was a good Quack time. My man pulled up on me. We had a couple shots. Oh damn! It, so you wasn't alone, alone. The, just, the first part of the day, what like the first like half of the games, I was like by myself, and then Quack pulled up. I didn't shit. get to that point because <laughs> I was really interrupted, Mister Gas Ass. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Seriously, what the fuck? So, but I, I let him have a shot of the white henny. The what's of it? The what's that other henny that cost hundred dollars? 
Masters Blend. <laughs> My bad. Uh, Master Blenders. Yeah, I let them have a shot of that. Uh, the Avion 19 and the fourth one. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Sunday was cool. I'm privileged drinkers, baby. Word. That's what's up. Um, I'll go. Um, so for me, uh, I don't think I came across anything like interesting as far as uh, like liquor, none of that type of stuff. But um, speaking of Sundays, my Sunday was a regular Sunday because I, you know, my team don't play, so I'm, I'm usually kind of chill. I'm even kill. I don't really care what happens for real. Like. It doesn't bother me in no way, shape, form. Obviously, my fantasy teams, I do pay attention to that. I got like, I'm in like five leagues or something. But um, as long as my team not playing, my, my my nerves are not as like rattled or I'm not as anxious. So Sunday kind of started off the week. It was pretty cool, like I said. Um, I think everybody in our division lost except for what, the Giants, right? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the Eagles lost, Redskins lost, but the Giants won. Sound a little depressed over there, my man. The Giants beat. I don't know who they beat, but I know Daniel Jones had like a little bit of a game. They did like trickery shit. I don't know Danny who they played. Is it Carolina? It was Carolina. You're right. It was Carolina. Oh. Um, Danny Dimes. Danny Dimes. But yeah. So that that was that. Um, Monday. Yeah, we had, like I said, me and my family, we had a regular, like, like regular week. It wasn't nothing crazy, nothing special. Uh, today was the only fucking crazy day because, you know, we come downstairs and the goddamn trampoline is blown like fucking. 10 yards away from where it usually is. So the wind was really blowing where we at. Um, but yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I ain't really had nothing to drink like that. It's just a typical week for me. I ain't really do nothing special. That's, you know, I mean, that's just me. Cat. Uh, I turned 36 on Monday. Absolutely. That's you did. All I did. A year older, a year wiser. Uh, Went to, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, we're not going to tell them where you got wiser. But you might as well tell them where you went, though. I went to Steak 48. Um, First of all, no, uh, because before we started recording, the enthusiasm he had about Steak 48 is on a different level. For you to be this relaxed right now is bullshit. Like, I just had a shot of swole. Step up. Man. Step it up. I've had a shot of swole. Right here, what he, had a shot he texted me. He was like, "Man, y'all love that." She texted me the menu and all that shit. He said that she was amazing. Listen, they have hand towels. Listen, <laughs> listen, man. The bathroom has doorbells. Listen, the damn the, the bathroom's got doorbells on. <laughs> this the this the energy. It's different. This the the hand towels have lavender, and they're the perfect temperature. After you eat, they're the perfect temperature. After you uh, eat your appetizer, your meal, you know, and then your dessert, they give you these uh, these warm lavender chamomile uh, hand towels. They just have the right amount of moisture on them. I swear <laughs> to God. Honest to God, man. That's the way he says moist. <laughs> like, that was a pleasant experience. Um, damn. I'll continue to talk about that that, that Steak 48, man. Um, if y'all want to decide to pay me for promoting you guys, I have been all week. Throw that in there. I've promoted you at work. I've promoted you via telephone, text, and uh, social media. So, uh, you know, holler at the captain, man. You know, want to get shit holler done. Holler at the captain. Uh, hey, hey, listen. <laughs> uh, uh, so, at, at the dinner, right, my, my son gave me a gift. And uh, I don't know if y'all can see this, but. They can't. It, he he wrote it on a piece of paper, okay. oh, and he Joe, gave Joe. me a baggie <laughs> with a prior about. I guess that's a yeah, shit two dollars and two cents. Hey, yo, <laughs> he'd have been more for the dollar thirty six cent. Happy happy birthday, love you, daddy. Uh, he just, you know it was just like this is all he had. And I, and I know he had pe- a pen, a paper, and I don't know where he got the dollar. Some he must have went this little piggy bank upstairs. I don't know, man. I know but people I, say it's I love my boy, counts. man. That was really thoughtful, man. So fuck and that. I appreciate it. Oh damn! I, and I forgot to put my little happy birthday little sign up here. You me? I'm glad the uh, what you call it? The, the, the bobby pin, not the bobby pin thing. Little stick to you. safety pin. Yeah, the shit was broke, so I I didn't stick it on me. I'm glad I wasn't able to do that. I look like a real fucking asshole at this prestige upscale ass restaurant. But saying no, I, I I would have did it though. Just for my boy though, man. Love you, man. Uh, Happy no, birthday. Sure. I just want to say again, like <laughs> the thought that count shit is out the window. <laughs> we need funny. better gifts in the future, Joe. Joe. Hey man, it's the thought that counts, man. Maybe I'll make it to five dollars next year. <laughs> he got to start, and, and, and start all, saving. Yo, in all pennies. <laughs> And all pennies. How many pennies is that? Shit, about five thousand. 
Yeah. This motherfucker. You ready to pass it off, or you got more to say? Um, I it. <laughs> I had a French, um, goodness gracious, a French. French well, what? what is, French goodness what? Goodness gracious. He had a French what? I don't think about uh, saying French uh, whore. <laughs> Yo, that's where I thought it was going. A and French for your birthday? I, voulez-vous vous chier avec quoi? It, it wasn't a, it, I think it might have been wasn't a French a Manhattan. And I had, uh, I had uh, something. A French that, Manhattan, you said? Yeah. I French. That's what I'm saying. I needed you to, I needed you to pronounce it all of that because I missed that. <laughs> Then I had some. I, I was trying to pull up the menu, but pretty much I had two drinks. I had like a French Manhattan, and, and the best one I had. They they both were like amazing, very what? flavorful. But enunciate the. Uh, I had it was like a peach. Oh uh, goodness gracious! What do you call them? Damn things, man! What was it that I told you earlier? A mule. A peach Moscow mule. The Here reason why I say that is because it had. Ginger beer in it. It was peach flavored. Some type of triple sec. It had a bunch of shit in there, but you know that 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 damn that ginger beer is gonna give you that. It wasn't called a ginger. Uh, I mean, a peach Moscow Mule, but that's pretty much the fuck it tastes like. Okay. You know, it had peach in there. Some type of peach triple some triple sec, peach syrup, and some ginger beer, and maybe like some other shit, like maybe two other mm. ingredients. But it tastes like a damn a peach Moscow Mule to me. Um, it was amazing, flavorful. Um, I think that that type of drink. You know, two, three of them, man. You can still wake up in the morning, man. They had the right balance of, uh, you know, the uh, the syrup, the alcohol, and uh, the gingerbread that was in it. And uh, they had the, the right amount of ice. <laughs> yeah, it might have been about six cubes in there. Small. Cool, man. You gotta Small. have the right amount of ice. Small, but yeah, I highly recommend Steak Forty Eight for y'all. That um, from apparently, from what I know, um, they're not just in Philly. Um, they're in a couple of different cities. Uh, I found out about it from just watching the damn news. To be honest, uh, the, the guy Adam Sandler he's shooting a movie here in Philly, and I just happened to you know you know catch up on you know watching the news and I heard about it and I was just I was taking there, you know what the fuck is that? Gracefully to go to bed. <laughs> for my bed birthday, time. man, it it was enjoyable. You know what I mean? I recommend it and uh, I appreciate you know seeing another year of uh, life and uh, one hour later. <laughs> fuck you, man. I'm 36 and I woke up, bitch. <laughs> I'm happy to be here, man. I look forward to uh, 36 more years times what? four. Yeah, just stop. <laughs> just stop. Just stop. Just stop. I, I plan on being around for a while, man. You just know what I mean? Or say that. I appreciate it. Damn. Life is short, man. Enjoy it you while you're here. That'll make you the oldest person, like. By far, right? Like, yeah, ever, yeah, ever, ever. I go against all odds that we man. know. That's anyway. what I do. Well, that's been our episode of Unprivileged yeah. Drinkers, and we'll <laughs> holler at y'all next week. <laughs> I was definitely about to say, do we have time for Pooty? Second off, right. um, last but not least, my week was so. If I want to start, I'll start from last Thursday because we didn't record last week, but. I was one of those guys that went to Vegas and I had the time of my life only just like, well, I mean, I've been to Vegas before with me and my wife, but it was for the Raiders and Eagles game. And I had the best experience. Like my NFL, my first NFL experience was beyond what I ever would have imagined like it was just did you cry awesome no 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 i ain't cry it was it was just it was it was different it was like the 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 crowd the stadium the people even the eagle fans everything was just electric so it was just like i just felt like it was like chills through my body so i just it was a different experience that i never thought i would have so and your stadium holds how many people and and huh, what your stadium holds how many people Honestly, I don't even remember. Uh, so you you were with pretty much what I was, you know was, was trying to say is uh, you were with about seventy thousand. No, it's not your time. Your it's not your time. Friends. You talk. That's the <laughs> best let, way let to put. Let him talk. You talk. Let yeah, him go. Two and, God damn. They two and never. It has with. nothing to do with anything. Talk about how you bust their ass, please. Let, let him talk. <laughs> Can you talk about how you ran? Down this on is these, not a one man show. God on these feeble ass. Nick. 
Can you please keep can you get on with it? That's the good part I want to hear about. Okay. <laughs> so God damn. Yeah, thank you. Before I get to that part, I definitely want to say I, I thank all all of y'all for real for real because I wouldn't have probably I wouldn't have been there without y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I mean that's from the bottom of my heart. It was definitely a, a an experience that I could never like I'll never forget. And it's it's inspired me to definitely want to take my wife out there to go go and see you know what I mean see 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 that stadium and feel that to get that NFL experience. So I mean, before I get to that, you know how we crushed them or whatever. Thank you. Thank y'all. I thank y'all. That's unnecessary. Absolutely. You're welcome. You're welcome, good brother. I definitely thank y'all. I mean, that was probably probably one of my probably one of my greatest um, birthday presents. And yes, we did. Slaughter. Yo, yo slaughter who? We, we slaughtered. You say you won. We slaughtered you the you Philadelphia won. Eagles. Just say you won. That's unnecessary. No, it's no, not, no. It's very necessary. No, I'm gonna I'm say. I'm gonna say it's very necessary. Very detailed too. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna say it's necessary because it was a lot of you fuckers down there. It was a lot of you fuckers. They travel so, well in so love. and yeah. and to like bro said to actually see it instead of just hearing you know how they travel. Mm-hmm. I saw oh. it like. They like literally had Caesar's Palace on lock. They had not the stadium on lock, but it was a bunch of green in the well, fucking stadium. Right. And it was just like, yo, why the fuck is there so many of y'all down here? Because gang green spreads. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get you. That was that was cute. But that was that was yeah. But it wasn't so much of a gang that fucking day. Shit ain't working. No, out it was well. definitely a gang. Uh, they just got their ass whooped. It was it was You just want to be heard, don't you? God you know how, damn. You know how so not to say like it was it was um, like the movie, but you know how you the movie three hundred. I was about to say three hundred of them, but you know they got mold. They got mold they, on them. They, they got they they was just sorry after the end of the day. Like yeah. the moment I walked in, they was talking shit like, "Oh, you're late to the party, just like your team is." We got to the end zone already. I'm like, "Oh, okay, that's <laughs> that that's cute." Funny, that I'm funny. like, "But at the end of the that day, <laughs> I'm like, at the end of the day, y'all know we can put up points, so." Chill out. There's always that. Then we threw the pick, and it was like, oh, I told you, we're going to whoop your ass. And then after that, we just ran that shit up on them. And they just didn't have no more to say to me. So hey, you were watching this by yourself? Uh, no, I was with Quentin. You didn't let me. That was a 4 o'clock game. You didn't let me finish what I was saying. And then I, I, I said it after that, and you still didn't hear. Yeah, he but did. What do you listen to? Thank God somebody came. Do you came just replay your voice in your head? Thank God somebody came for you to sit up there and lean on their shoulders and cry on them. They don't like, cry. Like, the fuck? It'll be a bad season. Like, but it is what it is. Yes. At, um, I mean, before the episode, I was talking I was talking with Brother Captain. The, the, the other time I do want to go out there is when Cowboys play the Raiders. Yeah, real niggas. Real that's, niggas. That, no, no, no. When we play, when oh, y'all right, come no, to oh, Vegas. Right. So real, 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 real niggas. Yeah, I so mean, it'll probably be another four years or whatever. But I mean, A little more competition for all that. Come yeah, Excuse me? I mean, a, little, a lot more competition. I'll say you that. You don't know what y'all going to be like in four years? Right. So, But but that's the next time. That's the Guaranteeing the other victory. I do want to go out there. And I want I want to go out there definitely with. Guaranteed ass. The, I want to go out there with the unprivileged gang. Right. Okay. I definitely want to go out there with the unprivileged game. And shout out to um Winston and um King, you know, all the all the firefighter guys that was out there. They was they was out there too. And shout out to Daryl Spann. He's part of um Grand Leanda. We met with him out there. He was actually at the game too. Hmm. Um Yeah, man, it was it was just a great experience. That was that was really my week, besides me sleeping in the fucking airport. And shout out one to, day. And shout out to Gordon Ramsey. My guy. Okay. All right. Yeah. I him. don't know what the fuck that is. Him, him, <laughs> him too. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I mean, that was a good joint because uh, obviously we knew it meant a lot to you. We wanted to all be there, but them flights started looking crazy. People Woo. started dropping out at the last couple minutes. So that flight Woo. back said eighteen hours. Woo. That ain't it, Chief. Right. Woo. So that ain't it. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Things happen, but we'll, we'll get out there. You know what I'm saying? We just it was poorly yeah. executed on our behalf because. You know what I mean? A lot of things got mixed up in, in, in translation and communication, so it don't matter. Like, long as you was out there. Hey, Chris man, God there. willing, we'll be back there. Yeah, man. yeah. That's like, all. You know I mean? It's all good. That's what it's I'm saying. Like, it's not, it's not the end of the world. I like that. But um, I like that. I'm so, privileged drinkers, baby. Um, to swivel away from that just a little bit, what we were uh, we were discussing this week, um, a, a drink that signifies who we are as a team. Um, so 
I think a few ideas was thrown out there, or a few liquors, I should say. So if you've been watching our podcast or you're familiar with this, um, a few of us are tequila people. Um, some of us are, uh, I guess you could say. Uh, I'm both. I'm a mixed breed. Cognac? Yeah, yeah. You, so like you look like a mixed breed. breed. You look mixed like breed. a mixed what? breed. Yeah, that makes I'm, sense. I'm a mutt. So, yeah, I'm a tequila guy. He's a tequila guy. Slime is usually cognac. He's saying he's mixed. What would you say you where you land between? Uh, um, like I'm, not going, I'm not going to say it's whatever's in front of me, but I'm sort of mixed. Like, I prefer tequila, but I'll I'll drink some cognac. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we all will, but. Yeah, you know. What's the first choice? Yeah, yeah. What's, what's, so, what's, yeah, what's all right. Well, to? my first choice is definitely tequila. So. So yeah. And what was your your first choice is just whatever's in front of you is what you would say? No, 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 no. I ain't say that. Well man, that's what I'm trying to just to kind of narrow that's it down. What you said. No, 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 no. Both of them. What's I said I like both of them. So I I'm not gonna take either or <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, I take, whatever's I take, in front I, of you. I, I could take either yeah, whatever. I mean I I would okay, so I enjoy sipping cognac more. So cognac is your go-to, right? So that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, so I, I would like would if it came number one choice. If somebody put both in front of you, what would you pick first? Nine times out of ten. Shit, uh, it won't be nine. <laughs> See, we got swole up there. Some God shit. damn, I mean, man, pick, pick one. What the fuck? <laughs> and they they both have Yo. different components to them that make them what slow. Slow ta- simming. What are we talking about? Because I really enjoy a margarita. <laughs> But then, I really enjoy, you know, something like a Duce and Coke or something like that. Duce and Coke. So, who, question, who, question, who, question. Wait, if, you, if you had a shot of Swole and Duce in front of you, what shot are you reaching for first? That's tough, man. <laughs> He's a double fister. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, whatever. The point is... We came up with a drink that um, embodies who unprivileged drinkers are as a team, as a unit. Um, I don't know what Drees would, what would you what would you say Drees That nigga do? likes kiwi, strawberry, pinnacle. He loves sweet drinks. Ew. Anything sweet. <laughs> I don't know. Like, as far as like a, a, a liquor, like what would you say he's staying Nothing up? hard. Tequila. All right. What about you? Hey, what would you say? <laughs> what would you say you stand? What would you like? Like scotch, whiskey, whiskey. So this essentially... Um, for the most part, embodies what we are, what we do. Um, so, like I said, we brainstormed throughout the week, and we uh, we came up with we came up with what we consider to be um, what signifies, I say, unprivileged drinkers, and it is uh, Duce Margarita. So, in this Duce Margarita, I don't remember the ingredients. Honestly, I think you do, don't you? Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. All right. There. So he uh, he pulling Apparently, up. Apparently, is do say in there? It's uh, is it ginger ale? No. No. You sure? Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, good. Well, right, well, go I'm still in shot. Go ahead. Let him fun. finish. He, he got the phone. The phone. So <laughs> you got <laughs> do say a silver tequila. Today we have what? What is it? Tequila bottle. Uh, it's tequila. It's, it's, it's a it's silver a tequila. Uh, triple sack, sweet and sour mix. And we have tahine. That's what it's called, right? Or, That's what it's supposed uh, to be. Tahine. Yeah, around the room of the, of the glass. <laughs> so listen, um, we haven't tried it yet. I have. You have? Oh, you been sipping? Yes, oh. I have. Quick draw, McGraw. This story took too fucking long. All right, well. It's my fucking birthday, bitch. So, birthday I haven't birthday. tried it with whatever's on the, the rim because this, this is. Okay, come on, let's go. Drink up. <laughs> yeah, I'm privileged drink. Sip I'm o'clock. privileged drinkers, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that's not supposed to be. I'm privileged drinkers, baby. <laughs> that's not supposed to be on the rim, yo. <laughs> Don't Once you get past to that, <laughs> yeah, don't taste yeah, I mean, bad to me. Ooh, it tastes like sand. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm on the beach for real. The, the, it, 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 this, the, it's chili lime seasoning. No, but that's the wrong shit, yo. That's not supposed to be on the rim. Why would you suggest that? 
That shit bad. Good to me. The drink is good. <laughs> the drink is delicious, but that shit right there. That's what I'm like, saying. The drink is real good. Just, it's like it's this shit. This this it's this rim shit. Like y'all might couldn't take the spice. I don't know. No, it's not the spice. This it's fucking nasty. Like, Tyene would have been spicy. No, this shit is nasty. It's fine to me. It's chili long season. But Tyene got like a little bit of a sweetness. It's sweeter, it's like a candy almost. Yeah, yeah. Like Tyene is spicy, you know you, but it got like a sweetness to it. You this think one. it's good because you like licking floors and shit like that, so you <laughs> ain't got no fucking. It's fine to me. I bet it is. I'm pretty <laughs> like you like putting baby. weird shit in your mouth. So look, look at it, yo. Oh, you ain't just see what you just did with the fucking. Yo, I'll see, I'll see it later. Oh, <laughs> yep. Come, why are you doing that to me, yo? Wrong person, yo. He flirted with you. No, he <laughs> <ain't> flirted <laughs> with you. I'll, so, be, I'll be him the fuck up. <laughs> I've been, I've been through a lot today. I will be him the fuck up. He won't be, he won't be the last one. <laughs> I, it ain't bad to me. <laughs> so um, the drink is good. Um, I I really like the drink a lot. Oh, it is. So wait, before we before we go further, shout out to uh, unprivileged wife Tanisha. I was trying to do my bad. My apologies. But go ahead, buddy. You got it. You got know it. your role, jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. But no, I was going to say, like, I really do like this. Um, yeah. it, it, it comes together really well. Um, it's not too much of, like, sour mix or, like, I don't I don't taste either liquor. Like, not one is overpowering the other. It just feels like a great combination of alcohol in it. Um, so, shout out to, like I said, the unprivileged wife, Tanisha. She's going to make us another drink um, later uh, in a few moments. But great, a great balance of both. Yeah, I, I don't know which one I taste. That's the thing. Right, yeah. I, I, I taste alcohol in it, but it doesn't so, like... It's so smooth. Yeah, it doesn't give me like, oh, that's definitely this or that's definitely that. I just know that it is there. Um, oh, this so, is yeah. Sne- this is sneak up on you. So, I think this is definitely an unprivileged drink. You know what I mean? Like, this is for oh, sure yeah. going forward our signature drink. You ready? There. Go. Unprivileged drink, the fact baby. That, like I said, it embodies who we are as a group. Like, we're... I guess if you want to add this sand on the motherfucking rim, that would signify, I don't know, maybe I love it. I, you, you know. or Tim, because y'all like think out of the box type motherfuckers. Yeah, so, yeah, it's so A.V., can, can we get like a, a gavel or something like, or some shit like that when we want to do the stamp? <laughs> like, because we do it and like people can't hear that. But a gavel. So did you take, did you did you put some of that in your mouth with the, with the drink? <laughs> the, <laughs> like he flirt with you now. <laughs> Reese, did you, did you like... Uh, so, <laughs> you know how you drink from a, a sugared rim or, a, you know, a tiny brush what? rim? Why don't you do that? Like, just what? take it take it all in. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm willing to rate this. They I are, really they like are this best drink. friends. <laughs> no, seriously. Like, just, just take it all in. Like, just stop trying to avoid it. Get I, the flavors in there. I love it. <laughs> This is I don't know. Why, why? The whole point is <laughs> he want a nightcap. I think we all we all tried it with with because it's all around the room. There's no way to avoid it. And doing it, it just see y'all went in there with a negative mindset. No, no, we didn't. No, I don't think anybody did that. I think we went in maybe because not- I, I see. So when I had the chili lime season around the rim, I had it with a spicy margarita. But see, my thing is so what, what I would say and about this- that is. I don't lick on the rim or none of that. I didn't so lick it. I you just, did. Definitely you it was, did. Not you when did. I first tasted it. But my, my thing I is. I just know how to. What I'm saying is I don't do it. what's on the rim and get a so, good mixture of the liquid with what's on the so rim. So you're telling people what they should and should not like, basically. But I mean, my, it's fine. It's, I'm telling you, it's, it's fucking fine to me. I love it. <laughs> my, but see, that's what I'm saying. Like, If I go somewhere and I get a drink like this, like a margarita, I got a straw. I never... Drink off of the glass, so it's oh, he don't drink off the glass. Yeah. Oh, see, I, see, I always. But do. ladies, basically, he's telling you he loves to lick around the room. <laughs> Pucker up. I think we all do. <laughs> oh, jeez. Stinky pinky. <laughs> I mean, tell him, ladies, that. if you ain't eating no ass, <laughs> he shall not pass. <laughs> Cause you Gandalf with the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He going after a different <laughs> ring. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but I, see, I'm, 
See, I didn't know you. I didn't know that about you. I didn't know like you, like you stick, uh, you stick, you stick straws and drinks. Who, 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 stick, stick straws and, and drinks. Whereas though the rim has been already has has already been compromised by some shit. <laughs> He's out here compromising rooms. No, he, He's a rim grazer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. So, what about you? You you don't do that. You just take it all in, like as far as. What? Can you stop talking, please? What about you, Pooty? You take it all in. What's on the broom? Stop talking to me, yo. Stop talking. Stop talking to me. I got it talking. because I don't know any. I mean, he doesn't. Stop. But no, but but be honest though. Like for me, he, he don't like. I, I I only like I've only ever seen a woman. Lick the the rim of a glass. Hold on, I didn't lick it at first. I I took it all. Like, I I licked it to be funny, like when I licked the actual brim of uh, the glass. But I actually, when I first took a sip, I took it with the mixture of the alcohol that's in there with the, you know uh, the you know margarita mix or whatever. With the it's chili lime season. I couldn't find it's Italian in this motherfucker somewhere. But that's what it is. It's chili lime season. It goes perfect to me. It goes it goes well. Everything. It's a great mix. Shit, I give it a tip. So my, so that's what I'm saying. So again, it goes back to if you drink it that way. Um, I could. I think that's the purpose of, you know, either sugar cane, salt, or whatever you have. Right, that's I think what I mean. That, like, what do yeah, you I, usually get on your rim? Do you get sugar or salt? I could do it either way, but I prefer sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> he got he got people do a lines of coke. <laughs> oh, uh, mar- a margarita, I prefer. The crazy part is, I prefer sugar, but I don't mind the bitterness. Like y- y'all say, Tyene has a little sweet candy taste. I don't really. I get more of a, a spice flavor from Tyene. But what do you get from this? It's got to be salt. When you right? take it all in, <laughs> stop licking the rim. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. It's definitely be salt. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I, but it's lime too. That lime is chili lime. I don't so, get the. I don't taste the lime at all. I do. Yeah, that's yeah, all I taste. That's the salt. I don't taste I, no lime. It tastes like sand. Exactly. Like he said, it tastes like sand. I know, sis. I taste the lime. So, if you keep, get <laughs> you'll get it. I'm telling you. Uh, I'm cool. I don't want it. <laughs> Yo, I, like, you already right, had it. Let's just rate this shit and let's move on, man. I'm giving it a ten. I really like this shit. Um, besides this uh, shit on the uh, rim. Yeah, I just don't like what's going on on the rim. Like, <laughs> thank you for the drink. This is amazing. Ten. Yo, yes. thank you, our privileged wife. I'm privileged. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Shit. Yeah, you, you did a great job. Oh, my God. I'm knocking over some shit. Um, yeah, I, I really, listen, I will be back for more. I, listen, when I come around, we need to have this together, man. Seriously, this is a great mix, man. So that's the thing. So uh, uh, no, this, this, guy stay, go first. this guy stay in the stable. Who said 10? I said hey, 10. It's, Ten, a fucking ten. Uh, it's well balanced with flavor, man. The uh, chili lime season on the brim. Um, you are and the crazy you. part is, the the ice that melted in my drink. So because you talk so fucking much, you right. talk too much, homeboy. You need to shut up. Hey, look what that said. But what you think, yo? Um, hey, it's turn. Look at me. This shit. It's just hurt, man. <laughs> please, please go, please. <laughs> it's a ten. It's a ten. Thank you, wife. Appreciate you. Um, I can't take this fucking dude serious. Like he's. Just... Don't bother me, it's man. A I'm sad to myself, man. I really, I really, I do like this joint. I this I can have this all year round. Don't gotta be specific season, weather, whatever. Like I can just drink this. I can't put um, um, <laughs> take it all day down, but can you shut up? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! He sidebarred. All right, sorry, man. Damn, he been talking since we started. Right. <laughs> Motherfucker, cool. <laughs> this is the life of a lonely mailman. Yes. <laughs> All his thoughts come out on Friday. <laughs> it's 
Two months since I've been waiting to say this since fucking Tuesday. <laughs> Okay. Well, you know what? He he definitely uh, missed out last week because y'all didn't record last. We didn't record. Oh uh, yeah, last making up for that shit. Yeah, this is this is all it's the makeup. Yeah, uh, this is definitely the makeup from last week to 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 today. Oh man! So yes, a ten, a ten. Like I said, thank you, thank you, wife. Um, dirt. Go ahead. It's a ten. Simply put, yeah. Just means he likes it. That's all. <laughs> Simple. So, um, <laughs> we was trying to have a a, 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 a pre recorded conversation about uh, like Halloween stuff. Where I'm, I'm not um, a big Halloween person. Um, as you heard before, he his birthday is October 25th. So, I don't. I mean, that would I would explain a lot. You, I mean, you would think that maybe he would, but what? No, I, I actually. All right, so Halloween. I don't understand the shit, but like, I don't mind getting. Buckle your seats, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I, I don't like. I, I find myself starting to like enjoy going to uh, like adult Halloween parties and, you know, getting a little, putting, you know, costumes on and shit like that. <laughs> you are um, the worst explainer ever, yo. I, I, I enjoy seeing my son in some, you know, crazy ass costume. Like, he's been all the characters you can name. So I was like, Ant Man, I think Shazam. I don't even know if they got what about Ant Man. Ant Man, no, I think he's he's been every character in his eleven years of life, I think. Like as far as like Marvel's concerned. Yeah, Ant Man and no Shazam is uh fucking DC. So DC. Yeah, so yeah, he he's been pretty much all of them. Um yeah, I find myself like you know, there's a lot of Marvel characters. The main ones. Let him go. <laughs> right, let him go. Yeah, you know what? My fault. The, the main ones, the ones that the, the main ones. Nope, nope. All right, nope. all right. Uh, okay. the, the main ones. You keep oh saying God, it, but you keep it's, going. It's like just keep talking. Just go. Just move forward. The ones that he likes. But uh, uh, yeah, I find myself enjoying like adult like uh Halloween parties more. It don't mean anything to me. I don't. I honestly don't get the shit. Um, just like I don't really get Valentine's Day. Certain shit I just don't get, uh, you know. But I, I'll go ahead and play along for the for the kid, you know what I mean? For me, enjoying myself as an adult, going out having drinks and, you know, looking looking at people dressed up in silly ass costumes. I get a kick out of that shit. Um, so, you know, I don't I don't mind Halloween. Wait, this nigga came as like a preacher last year or can, something. Can I ask a question? Uh, the whole pimp. Oh, you, it, was the, it was the whole pimp. You out of all people. I was a priest last year. <laughs> and the year before that I was a pimp. I'm confused. No, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before that was a pimp. So I'm, I'm that con- shit. It tickles the fuck out of me when I start putting the shit on. It tickles. Yeah, I get a kick out of shit. I really do. I had a Bible in my hand, weed in my f- mouth, and a drink and a bi- like. I had the host. I had a Bible, weed, and drink. You and I'm really, a priest. You would have really fucked. Never mind. Uh, yo, stop. What do I video? Who's video? What? The video. <laughs> what? <laughs> the video. <laughs> it was <laughs> out of pocket. Uh, anyway, that yeah, was but with, with you being confused on these holidays, it's holiday, not a holiday. I ain't confused. I just don't give a fuck. You don't <laughs> give a difference. F- I'm a, I'm gonna call bullshit on one holiday. I know you care about Valentine's Day. Ooh. No, uh, I, no. Ooh. You play along with Valentine's Day because of the woman. Like so you know, no you- man really gives. Not no man I know really gives two fucks about Valentine's Day. Even my own fucking dad and my grand, they just did it to play along with whether they was trying to get some ass, whether it's married. They played, they played, they played along with the theme of what it was. We don't really give a fuck about that shit. Be honest. So I know you when it comes to getting ass. I didn't have to do that to get the ass. I already had it, more than likely. That's cool, but so I'm just speaking, I'm speaking, speaking facts. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling you, man. Like we, we, you know, I just don't get that. I, I really, that's one that I've gotten to. You know, depends on what female was like. The debates so, over like, I, what the fuck is the point of this? I'll, I'll play it long. Is you want to do do a little normal shit? Go out to eat and little flowers and shit. Do, do this shit all the time. Like, fuck. Why is you want a little? You want you want a little heart with the shit? Why is your voice like, changing? Like you want a little heart with the shit? Like I, don't, I ain't gonna love you no different on this fucking day. Not doing the other day. Wait, wait, that'd be that'd be a whole nother spill. But go ahead. I'm just I'm a different kind of guy. Right, right, yeah, yeah, right. We on yeah. We on Halloween. I just and anybody knows me and dealt with me. No, that's how I feel about certain shit like that. But all right, so I'm not gonna call bullshit on Halloween for you, but 
You do participate in Halloween a lot, though. No, I mean, I participate for my son, yeah. <laughs> it's 11. So you were dressed up as a priest last year with a Bible in your hand, weed in your mouth, and a drink in your other the, hand. Well, it was recommended from the folks, uh, Sister Aisha and Brother Winston, uh, were requested that you wear uh, the, a costume. So you He part- was a ref. So you participated. He can't stand the shit. We're not talking about him, but we're talking yeah, about will. you. Yeah, I will. Part- I'm, I'm going to their party. Yes, I'll part- I don't mind participating. I really don't. I don't give a fuck about it, but I, and then I actually, when I get there, I have fucking fun doing it. Like, just, <laughs> I don't care. Like, oh, it sounds, yeah, it sounds like you kind of care. Uh, I really don't. <laughs> Even my brother is participating. Bullshit. I just talked to him like an hour Bullshit. ago. He's, he's, he's putting on the costume. Like, we don't, we don't give a fuck about that. We'll do it. He's, he got two little, my, my nephews, 11 and 9. You're going to participate? The fuck. You know, actions speak louder than words, right? Hey man, that's just what it is, man. Like we don't care about that type of stuff. We really don't, man. Right? Just fuck. I, I'll go to the. I go over there in the regular anyway. So fuck. I'll go ahead and put on something to, 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 to be to sit up there and be uniform with the rest of the motherfucking theme of the party. Why not? Be festive. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, yeah, I don't really or usually indulge in any of this shit either. But I know this past week, um. I think it was Mon- yeah, it was Monday. I actually forgot all about this though. We went to uh some farm that's not too far from us, and they had like uh you, know, you could pick your own pumpkin out and shit like that. And they had like, a little corn maze or not? Yeah, yeah, corn maze. We actually almost did get lost. Like the lady told us, like if you get lost, just look up at the trees. When we got deep into the motherfucker, it was trees on like three different sides. It was like I don't know what trees to look at anymore. So I, but you know me. Being a navigator that I am, I got us out of that bitch. You know what I'm saying? But escape room. Yeah, yeah. It was it was cool as shit though. I I, I like stuff like that. I kind of like enjoy for the sake of like like you said like when your kids are involved, they have the fun, and you kind of enjoy them having fun. So they had a fun, and I had a drink. Yeah, like I mean. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So um. Anybody else? Any story real quick with as far as Halloween goes or no? That's it. No. Yeah, no, nah, not um, for me. And you know, oh, oh, real quick, you two remember? Oh, so now, when my mom used to throw birthday parties for me, we did dress up. Yeah, we did. Now I do yeah, remember we that did. we did dress up. I was, yeah, we we definitely did dress up. Yeah, we did. I mean, I was a kid. Yeah, damn right, I enjoyed it. I look at pictures. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I had all types no of one's Batman. Fight, yo, no, no one's like, fighting. No, but yo. that you know, I could have had a normal birthday party, but it was like Halloween theme. Remember I you? think it was. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Like, Rel, you might. Yeah, you was. Yeah. yeah. So, sidebar. You know what he sound like. Why, why would I just put my feet on Charlie Murphy's couch like that? I ain't doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember putting my feet on Charlie Murphy's couch. <laughs> Cocaine's hell of a drug. That's exactly. Who it goes back to the sugar on the roof. Right. Cocaine. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> um, oh, it was Charlie Murphy. I mean, I uh, like like bro said. I'm not really a Halloween person. I've never been, um, but I, I enjoy it for for my kids, especially my right. oldest one. My All oldest right. one, she enjoys she enjoys um, Halloween. She likes dressing up and Absolutely. stuff like that. So to That's see up. to see how how she enjoys it to dress up as different things. So, and, and this year she wants to be a part of the purge. So she wanted one of those crazy looking masks mm. that they wear on um, the movie. So yeah, like it's, it's, it's funny and kind of cool that she's, she's really real into it. So that's, that's kind of yeah, cool. You like, get a kick out of it and becomes like, cause it's, 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 it's a funny kind of, yeah. Thing sort of it makes it and it'd be like yo you're a silly looking like it, it's fun because you got kids and they sitting up here and they having fun and then you as an adult you gotta put on a costume so you're just having fun you enjoy yourself eating you're doing stuff that you would normally do but with but a costume just in on. costumes yeah okay hey, it, that's cool <laughs> um so as we told y'all earlier oh everybody we good we good all right I'm sorry I want to cut nobody off um but five stars we got another drink um that we want to uh. Talk about what is the name of it? The, the Jack, Jack O'Lantern. Jack O'Lantern. So we have our uh, unprivileged wife getting ready to come through, make us a quick drink again. We're going to test it out. No more of the sand on the rim. So are we good on that note? Yes. Um, um, if we're going to use these again, then yeah, that's fine. Are we using these again, or do you? Do you? Uh, have- there, there were other glasses, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Why well, I still have some in there? Well, you're supposed to have drink it at this point. I will. Can Since I you love it so much. Just, just go. The one with the most in it. But, um. Jesus Christ. Here's the question. Just class. go. He's out of pocket. Simple Simon. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, like Peace, um, today we uh, we obviously from Philly. If you don't know, um, I'm privileged drinkers. Um, I have to travel a little ways to get here um, on Fridays. But today was a little crazy because, like I said, it's raining. It's like a tarantula rain out there today. And then on top of that, we got powerhouse. Um, and mm, I bring it up yeah. to say, like, I don't I don't follow this shit like that no more. I don't know. But who's going to be at powerhouse this year? That it's like really like crazy where probably people are coming from all over. Uh, honestly. Megan, no. I think ain't Polo G. Yeah, I was about to say, ain't Dirk there? Did he just leave somewhere recently? He just walked out. Was it Howard? Howard. He just left. Howard. He said they wasn't went, turned up enough. Yeah, he said they weren't feeling the vibe. That's funny as shit. He just left. Oh, 20 in them? 20 in them? Oh, so, so it's, it's for, for, for this generation, it's some headliners that will bring people out. Y'all going to be there? Yeah. You said who? Eight and over. Wow. Well, but I but that's what I mean. I like I like Money Bag. Out of all the people you just named, oh, oh. that's my man. I really like Money Bag. Who was Carisha was going to be? There. Okay, he city girl. Why? Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> You sound just like an old ass man. He <laughs> <laughs> on his head. He did the whole moving there. <laughs> what the fuck? But um, yeah, I, I just thought it was interesting because, like, you know, what I mean, I've been so out of touch with that shit. Like, I lived here, and because I never had to go anywhere, I never felt the traffic as far as trying to get into the city. So coming into the city, you like, yo, oh, what the yeah, fuck all is going on? State area up in this Jersey, Have y'all ever Delaware, been Philly? everywhere? Have y'all ever been to uh, Powerhouse? I never been. I played the let out before, but I've I never, never been. Yeah, I never in been. Building, I've never been. Like, well, it's been there. Cat. I think I went once. I don't even know who the hell that was. Yeah, I, 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 my, I've never my, been. My next question was, who the fuck did you see at Powerhouse? <laughs> Rick James. <laughs> <It's not evil. laughs> I like Rick James. <laughs> you know who I wish I would have saw? The last time I went there for a concert, I think it was the Bees. Bad Boys joint. The very last... Yeah, I wish I would have been here for powerhouse. No, no, I'm fuckhead. I'm talking about the last time I went to the Wells Fargo, nigga. No, I ain't we, talking about. But we're talking, I'm talking about, about powerhouse. I get that's a concert, ain't it? We're talking about powerhouse. I don't. That's what I'm saying. You're I talking went about the once, bad boy I, reunion. I went. No, I went once a long time ago. The last concert there I went to was the Bad Boys reunion. We ain't. Yeah, I was. Nope. Um, that's that's what I was. So I was just telling him I don't. <laughs> If I could have went to anyone, it would have been to join that Beans and Kiss. Was that? that was what was year was that? Like two thousand and three or four or something like that. Maybe a little later. No, it was two. Yeah, I was about to say. I'm sorry. I'm going beforehand because I think I was still in high school when that shit was going on. Yeah, yeah, it might have been two though. I think I'm going to say two. But you know what I mean? Like Beans. If y'all don't know, like Beans was at the joint. That's when he did the joint acapella, and just when your son kissed like a soda. No, that's the joint. He's it got me off my Dean Breakers a lot. Uh, okay, okay, that, yeah, that yeah, joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he acapella that shit on stage just on some shit. Like he he one motherfucker. I wish like took it. Oh, one was a one. Damn, I wish he took it seriously. Like he he had everything at his feet. Just, but yo, if you if you watch the God. um the Drink Champs uh episode with Beans on there, oh, he that was, talked yo. about how his first album. He said he would he not that he didn't take it serious, but he said something specific that. He felt like his most complete album was the Becoming, the Becoming right? Becoming, yeah. I, I was like, huh? Right, and that's how I felt, because like, my favorite really? one is, is um, Mine is the, the reason. second one. Uh, what's the the second reason. One? The reason, Mine's right. The reason. I love the truth, though. The truth is something like, damn, this nigga really crazy. But uh-huh. the, the reason is just like, he going to be here for a while. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, yeah, it was like, yeah, he definitely, like, because the first one was like, yo, he can write. That's, that's fire. Like, he fucked that whole joint up. But the second one was like, all right, he solidified his place in rap. Right here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not getting into that. I'm not even. That's a fact. It's See, way Kabo, better. Than I mean, Noriega Noriega don't have one by himself to stand up against Beans. I'm gonna say those three because after those three, it do get shaky. Like I love um, 
those the first three. Is the becoming is it's kind of like State Property 2's like unofficial uh like soundtrack for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. But I, I still I like that joke. But the reason, like I said, that's like my favorite one. I just listened to it on my way here. Um but I, like I said, I just like if I could have been in anyone, it would have been that one. You said two thousand and one? Yeah, that's that's crazy, yo. Hey. If I could have been at anyone, it would have wow. been that one. Because that one was just like, I remember, I think it might have been, they must have started beefing like early that year. But that Yeah, that summer. Because when, when he did the sun kiss like a soda, that was like in the summertime. Yeah. Right. Kiss the game goodbye came out. And then he did that joint. And I, I remember we were sitting right out here. The shit came on the radio like 20 times straight. He just kept playing oh, back, to man, back, was... to back, to back. I'm like, oh my god, this is sick. Remember, remember, uh, cousin, he was talking about that shit. Uh, they kept playing. Uh, oh, uh, they kept playing that shit at the, at the ball game. Yeah, it's it's just they crazy. Kept like, running that shit back to back. It's history that that comes with this city. Um, when it comes to real rappers, like today, the climate of rap is different. It's a, it's it's more of a sub genre of what we used to listen to as far as rap goes. It's just different. You know what I mean? I don't want to knock it in the sense where it's like, oh, that's bullshit. Or, like, you know, these motherfuckers come, oh, that's mumble rap. It's just, I don't even give a fuck about all that for real. For Shit real. just evolved. Yeah, it's just, that's what, that's what it is. But the person that you look to, if you want to, if you, so, if you want to be mumble, mad though. about, it's somebody like Wayne. Wayne really like transitioned like hardcore rap into these sub genres of rap, what, what they do, what they do today. Like, even like giving. Wait to like a thug or a yachty. Like, and what's crazy is, I, I don't even know, I don't know how I'm about to say this. I find myself listening to Young Thug more today than I ever thought I ever would because he, his melodies and his, his, the, some shit that he puts together do be like, damn, that's clever. I don't know how he, I don't know how he, who, who, who helped him come up with this, this steam concept, but I guess it'll all be him. But I'm more fascinated with him today than I was. Prior to just due to hearing his story and hearing where he came from and how he's still like making his way through, so I I got a lot of respect for him now. And nigga, so when he said he bought, he got what 10, 11 siblings. He bought all of them cribs. He all of them, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He like got like acres. Fire. He's like doing like a development or some shit. Yeah, like that. that's if you, if you look fire. at if you look at his uh his pictures around Christmas time, it is fucking ridiculous. Like he literally buys tens and twenty gifts for every single person in his life. This whole house would be filled with gifts. It definitely some dope shit. Yeah, yeah, like stuff like that. I'll, like you know, what I mean, I come from a big family, so I've always had those inv- like visions of like being able to be in position to do stuff like that. So it just was dope to hear that, and it was uh, something other crazy that I heard today. Like, well, not yet today, maybe the other day, but I don't think they released a clip yet. But Wale was going to sign him or some shit like that. Like I was like, damn, I, I didn't even know he like they just seem like two totally different artists. So. For him to have taken notice to him like that, I thought that was dope too. Like that's crazy. I know him and Meek fuck with each other a lot too. So I don't know. Like I just like certain things when it comes to rap, it, it the way it, like it works itself out be like, really weird. And a lot of stuff that happened behind the scenes that you would never expect. Or, suspect, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like so to hear that is like it is strange, right? Yeah, that but, guy rapping about Nike boots, another one saying slat. Right, right. <laughs> that's my best friend, <laughs> Stoner. <laughs> So we got um Jack, Jack O'Lantern. Jack O'Lantern. Yeah, I lost the thought. Jack O'Lantern. It seemed like I got the least out of a bunch. But that's all good. You got, um, you got a far away drive. We thought about you. Yeah, I, I'm not yeah, going home. We care. I'm staying um, I'm staying the night here. Still a uh, drive. Yeah, like five minutes. Um, but um it's all good though. But yeah, anyway. Jack O'Lantern. What's in the Jack O'Lantern? Do say orange juice, ginger ale, and triple sec. Okay. I can so see the oranges. I smell the oranges. All right. Can I? Can I? Before we drink, can I say, when 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 we first saw this name, I thought it was like Jack Daniels in it. I mean, that would make sense. But play on words. Yeah. Yeah, like play on words. You would think Jack Daniels is in this joint, but the do say yeah. the real Jack. <laughs> Boo. All right, well, you ready? You said boo. <laughs> well, drink up. Drink up. Drink up. Clock, whatever you want to do. Sip a clock. I'm privileged drinkers, baby. Cheers.
shit good to me. The film of the orange juice sits on the top of the drink. Gives it like a spooky look almost. Yeah, it's kind of cool. With like cobwebs? Oh, man. <laughs> Clean them out, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. I feel like I probably should have drank some water because I'm still tasting the bitterness from the last drink that I had. So, I'm not getting a full uh, or, effect or, or, or Anything with orange juice in it, like orange juice really Overpowers has, everything. Yeah, orange juice really. But I, I I'm like really the getting mixture a, of this. I'm, I'm really getting the ginger ale. Yeah, I, 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 I get all of it. Like the ginger ale, the douce, the orange juice. This it's the orange juice that really overpowers orange it. Orange juice and ginger ale, then douce on the back end of me. I like it though. I do like it. I like it. This is this is two good drinks for some, well, one good episode. Dope shit. So what y'all want to go? Want to go first? Who want to give it a uh, rating? I'll give it an eight and a half. Okay. I give I give it an eight. I like the combination of the uh, the liquor and the juices. And again, I, I like the look of it. Like the film like sitting on top, of it. on top. Yeah, the film sitting on top. It looks like. You know what's funny? Some people wouldn't like that. Yeah, it looks yeah. like. Because it looks like. Like the after effect of a thaw. Like it, a liquefied. Yeah. Huh. Like a liquefied thaw. Never mind. And it like pulp. I have a problem with pulp. I know yeah, you know what? That's like a funny ass fucking topic. Some people really don't like pulp, and I yeah. absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, I, I I'm have one no of those people who don't care for it. I love, I love the shit. I don't like pulp. I don't understand really. why people don't like Why don't you like it? I don't know. It's just, that is a good question. It's weird. I just, it's just weird shit. It's just like sperm It's natural. Move on. Just move on. Just move on. Come. Just move on. I like it too. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. Love it. It's good. <laughs> Took a few sips for me to get the real flavor of it, but I like it. Anybody else want to go? Yeah. There's only one left, I believe. Did yeah. I get my number? I said eight and a half. I said eight. Yeah, you said eight. I said eight, eight and, and a half. half. Now you, him, that person. Captain, yeah, you. <laughs> um, I'm going to give it sips drink. I'll give it an eight. Word. I'll give it an eight. Um, everything like I say, all, all cocktails that I've had made with orange juice. Uh, now, that's citrusy. <laughs> It's a cocktail, ain't it? What? It's a cocktail. <laughs> it's a specialty cocktail. It's the only it's only the way you say it. I'm telling you. It's, Cock. it's, away with it's words, just, it's just the way that you talk. Well, anyway, I give it an eight, man. The uh I taste the, the orange juice and the ginger ale with the uh the douce on the back end and a little bit of the triple sec. Tri- 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 triple sec. <laughs> Yo. Um, it's a it's a drink that it, it puts you in the mind of a uh, of the fall time as far as um it being a jack o' lantern. Um, <laughs> you. but right. I I honestly get the vibes of a mimosa in a sense. Because of the orange because juice. Of the orange juice. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. It's like a strong ass mimosa, and it's not really strong. It's just I that you know mimosas don't now. really have like a lot of like unless you put a lot of like uh, champagne or whatever in there. Like um, it's, a, it's an overpowered you know, mimosa. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, you done? Shit, do y'all want me to be sure? <laughs> well, we wanted you to be a minute and a half ago. <laughs> so listen. <laughs> This is our episode. So we, we give we give it the uh God damn. Hold on. Stand. Hold on. Hold on. One, two, three. I'm privileged drinking. So did baby. it again. We fuck with this. Uh thanks again. We appreciate this. Tanisha, she hooked us up. As y'all saw our bartender, we appreciate it. Um, but we about to get out of here. Uh, we appreciate your time. Always come back, subscribe, like, comment, do everything you need to do. Uh, we appreciate it. Um, you can always like say follow the journey on uh, t- Twitter. I say Tinder. Wow, that's about to be real crazy. Twitter, Facebook. You follow uh, him on there. TikTok, Instagram, <laughs> and him. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what we guys. do. We like to have a little bit of fun. Um, so fuck with us. <laughs> that's uh, well, like I said, we about to get out of here. We appreciate your time. Come back. 
We'll see y'all again. I'm Privilege Drinkers Plus for them. All right. We out of here. Take that for the hood. Rolling. Uh, I'm Privilege Drinkers, baby.